Master your time, becoming organized in school life. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we'll tackle a crucial topic that's not only relevant to learning English but to your entire school life, time management and organization. In this video, we will look at some useful English phrases and vocabulary that will help you discuss and understand this topic better. Remember, getting organized and managing your time effectively is key to succeeding in school. Let's kick things off with some useful vocabulary and phrases related to time management and organization. Prioritize, to decide the order of things based on their importance. Example, I prioritize my English homework because the test is tomorrow. Schedule, a plan for when events should happen. Example, I schedule my study time every evening. Deadline, the time or date by which something must be done. Example, the deadline for the project is next Friday. Procrastinate, to delay doing something until later, usually something that you do not want to do. Example, I always procrastinate on my math homework. Distraction, something that takes your attention away from what you are doing or thinking about. Example, social media is a big distraction when I'm trying to study. Now that we know some key terms, let's construct some sentences and short dialogues. 1. Planning your day. 2. I usually plan my day the night before to stay organized. 3. He uses a planner to keep track of his daily tasks. 4. Setting deadlines. 5. Our teacher set a deadline for the essay submission next week. 6. She met the deadline by finishing her work ahead of time. 7. Avoiding procrastination. 8. To avoid procrastination, I break down my tasks into smaller, manageable parts. 9. He uses the Pomodoro technique to stay focused and avoid distractions. Now, let's move on to discussing time management strategies. We'll also cover some related phrases. 1. To-do list. A list of tasks that you need to complete. 2. I create a to-do list every morning to make sure I don't miss out on any tasks. 3. Time blocking. Assigning specific time slots for different activities. 4. He uses time blocking to allocate specific hours for studying, playing, and relaxing. 5. Batching tasks. Doing similar tasks together to improve focus and productivity. 6. She batches her tasks by studying all her English vocabulary at once. Time management and organization are essential skills, not only for your school life but for your future career and personal life as well. By learning the vocabulary and phrases we covered today, you will be better equipped to discuss and improve your time management skills in English. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that you found this video helpful and will be able to use the knowledge in your daily life. Remember, the key to learning is consistency. So keep practicing and improving your English every day. Until next time, happy learning.